What's up guys? Today is March 15th, which is of course the Ides of March. That's a reference um, to the assassination of Julius Caesar in 44 AD and not the movie with George Clooney and Ryan Gosling, um, just to be clear. So before um, the assassination of Julius Caesar, um, the Ides of March was just um, something on their calendar. They didn't used to count by days. They counted, uh, you know, by phases. So basically the Ides of March was a division in their calendar based on um, a phases of the moon. So that's why it lands in the middle of March. But, of course, um, on the Ides of March, March 15th, um, Julius Caesar uh, was assassinated with a plot from Brutus and Cassius, part of his Senate, and he was stabbed over 20 th times in front of a statue of Pompeii. It's very famous. It was dramatized in a Shakespeare play, um, and that phrase, the Ides of March, beware the Ides of March, um, became popularized, part of, you know, American literature, pop culture at that time. Um, so it was basically a dialogue between Julius Caesar and a soothsayer that predicted that something, you know, told him, beware the Ides of March, something bad will happen to you by this day. And, you know, it was joked around that on March 15th, Julius Caesar, you know, told the soothsayer, he's like, well, the Ides of March have come. As to imply that, well, today's the day, nothing has happened. And the soothsayer replied, but they haven't gone. And that, of course, was a premonition. The rest is history. Um, so basically, Beware the Ides of March was a warning. Um, and, you know, it just reminded me of a warning that I got um, from one of my first professors in ad school. And although this applies specifically to advertising, I think it's good for anybody in any kind of business, he said, don't ever sell anything to a client. Don't ever promise to do something that you're not okay with dealing with for the next six months. So in advertising specifically, um, you know, it's an idea. And I've been through that route before. I obviously didn't learn my lesson from him. We sold the concept through to a client. I hated it. And it just chased me down forever, haunted me in my sleep. So, you know, I, you know now I've learned my lesson. I would say if you ever have anything that you're not comfortable with doing, pull your foot down. Beware the Ides of March. Beware of doing something that you're not willing to commit to, for sure. Um, so that's a wrap. Thank you, Carlos Vasquez, for that advice when I was a youngin' a couple years ago. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Later.